Hey everybody, for today's game, I'm playing Corky in the top lane, and Corky has been completely reworked here on the PB, where I'm going to be testing him today. So I'm going to hover over some of his new abilities. Now, when I see reworked, I mean his current abilities and spells basically all got touched up. So one, his passive no longer gives him a package, no package. Uh, now he does bonus true damage on his auto attacks and his spell blade effects, including Trinity Form. Um, his uh, bonus damage um, for attacks and critical strikes um, do a little bit more damage, and this is based off his attack damage, right? So I believe this will also be enhanced by Infinity Edge, having the, uh, the bonus damage there. So we got the, uh, the Q, here's the W, here's the E, here's the R. So let's go over the, the E real quick and why it's going to be really good for Corky. Well, on the PB, First Strike has also been reworked. And Corky can basically always get the first hit of a, of a First Strike because of uh, you know, the way his E works and like just firing instantly. He can't really miss against anyone in his range. And First Strike has been reworked so that the more often you proc first strike, not how much damage you do, will generate you the gold. Because the initial gold count got increased from, I believe it was five before, uh, and now it's just straight up uh, 15. It might be reduced for range, but it, the thing is, like, even just getting that one auto attack in lane just over and over again is going to generate you more gold than having, like, you know, a full burst build later on. But that being said, with the reduction in gold from burst, you also now get first damage. They increase the first strike um, bonus damage by 1%, to making him a better lane group. And less of a, uh, oh hey, I'm going to pick Karthus jungle, and I'm going to go first strike, and I'm going to farm up as much gold as possible by pressing R and doing a ton of burst uh, 5 characters. So, it'd be worse for something like uh, Karthus. You know what, I need to get my W. Guys trying to hop on me. You see if uh you know maybe I can just ghost at him. Nice. Oh, first blood action. Beat up the Gnar with Ignite. But because he has Ignite, I'm just gonna ship him. Oh. So getting a uh, good amount of gold. So let's see, I've gained 50 gold already from first strike, uh, and I've dealt 19 damage. So you can see how this uh, this gold value is kind of good. And all I have to do is just oh, run away from a uh, ignite shake. Oh, oh, the slow. No, I'm so dead. Dang, my Vega was in his jungle. I was thinking, oh hey, I'm safe, but uh, unfortunate. So, all right, so it's recommending me that I go um, Essence Shiver, Trinity Force, and Finny Edge. You know what? I'm kind of down with uh, this build. So let's do it. Let's get a Warhammer. Uh, the only thing I don't like about Warhammer is that Warhammer no longer gives 25 attack damage. It only gives 20. So you're basically spending, let's see, you got 700, 250. So you're spending the extra gold, the 150 for Warhammer for five ability haste, which is like, okay. But it's not as broken as getting five attack damage and five ability haste for 150. So, not as good of a start. I would prefer to have like BF Sword. I took Magical Footwear for my setup. I would like to take the legendary item, like cost back rune, the new one here on PB, but it's currently bugged. So, I uh, cannot test that because it is bugged. But yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be farming up a ton of gold with our first strike, and I think once the cost back rune does like start working, and you get six percent of your gold back from buying legendary items, it's basically like almost a full kills worth of gold every time you buy a legendary, item. which is uh, kind of nice. So I'm just putting my queue up on Nar. You want? I got a big trade enemy there. I should have spaced a little bit better, but all good. Yeah, I still got a good amount of poke. My E can layer up these uh, minions pretty well. And get my level 6. I 
I'll probably need a reset. That was too big of a trade by Nar. Plus he's gonna have Ignite up soon. He could freeze this, but uh, looks like he's letting it crash on the turret, so fine with me. Alright, so with the changes, I think instead of going, you know, we used to go Sorks on, on Corky, right? Because he used to deal magic damage with all the stuff. Now his, I don't know, I feel like his E might be a little bit outdated now because it shreds armor and magic resist still. But then again, his R does physical damage now, so that's a great change. His Q still has magic. His W still has magic, so he still has a little bit of magic damage. Yeah. So, I would say Corky's probably gonna do like, you know, maybe like 7 to 10% magic, you know, 70% physical, and then some true damage, right? Which is gonna make Corky pretty good against, uh, you know, tanks. Gonna be pretty nice. I hit him with a big one. Look at that big rocket. So it took presence of mind as well as uh, Legend of Lacrity. Let's see. So right now it, it keeps showing the damage, but my gold earned it. I've earned 106 gold from first strike. So as you can see, like through seven minutes as a range, you typically wouldn't have that much unless you were doing like crazy bursts and annihilating your opponent. But I've just kind of been. You know, pressing R, pressing E to get some first strikes. Just casually getting an extra 106 gold. So, throughout a waiting phase, throughout 15 minutes, I'll probably get somewhere between 200 and 300 gold, which is kind of nice. Way more than before. Although, I do like seeing these uh, crits with the uh, true damage. You guys ever see true damage crits? see i don't know his ap ratios are still yeah he's got like no ap ratios anymore so no more ap corky like at all i can farm pretty safe for top lane a little bit of this action a little bit of big rocket action i missed so again every time i hit that ability i'm just getting plus 15 gold yeah, so what? 140. You don't even have to deal damage. Enemy it's all about just proc on the first strike. Alright, his mega's about to run out. I'm gonna keep shoving him in. Got a little first strike there. Oh no. Oh. What a chunk. I think he DC'd. May I. I, I feel bad. I feel bad. I he DC'd and I didn't notice until he it was like half like whatever. He it looks like he came back, but this is PB, so people are just gonna like DC randomly. What that is. Hey, we're just testing out the uh, the court for like so. The one fifty six gold man. throughout nine minutes. Yeah, so throughout a wing phase, I think you're easily getting, um, I think you're easily gonna get like 300 gold. Just a full item. That, plus you get the cost back one, and that's gonna give you like an extra, what, I think it's 150 to 200 gold. Uh, per legendary item, depending on the cost of the legendary item, right? You get a percentage back. I'm not sure what number they're gonna land on overall for the, uh, for the cost back, but let's see. So I've got Essence Shiver now. Essence Shiver no longer has a Spellblade effect. Uh, but we're going to go Trinity Force next, which does. And the Spellblade effect of Trinity Force is very nice. But I think this will make Quirky scale a little bit better. Because true damage is going nice. Oh my god, I'm doing so much damage now. Like, that trade is just brutal for Narn. Like, the amount of attack damage I get from Essence Shiver is insane. Oh, hey, it looks like Diego killed him. Got Viego. I was getting my wave shoved in. I think Viego cleaned up. Keiko's got the, uh, he's building the new, uh, burn item. So, AP Shaco jungle is gonna be kinda, kinda broke. In my, in my opinion. 
think Word might no longer be a top laner after uh, this season. Or maybe it does. Maybe it goes back top lane and just takes this burn item. But the burn item increasing on uh, minions got nice. So, wait, I didn't even think about this. My attacks and spell blades. The true damage also applies to turrets? Wait. I am annihilating these turrets. Like, I know I've got a little bit of true damage from the uh, the grubs I got, but I only got one grub. Now, this is just like, getting extra 22 damage on true damage on turrets, too. Okay, that's kind of crazy. So, like, you play, like, a mid lane quirky, and, you know, you're, you know, you're playing against a talent mid or something. They run bottom, and then you just breach the mid turret. Uh, let me go back. So, I think it's gonna be Zerkers, just because Zerkers built in this effort later, and it's gonna be the... I think it's gonna be the de facto, kind of, uh, ADC item. I think you're just gonna go Zerks on everybody. I mean... <sighs> Maybe you go Swifty still on something like Jin, but yeah. definitely Zerkers. We, we're going to auto-attack a bunch of Corky. We're no longer just trying to eclipse, you know, spike someone with uh, Corky. We actually have uh, consistent sustain damage. It's like Shaco's going mid. How's the, uh, how's our bot lane doing? I said bot lane's doing really well. Oh, I lost my first strike. I think I've only lost my first strike like two or three times this lane. Every other time I've just gotten off. I could do a little bit better about, uh, trying to spike it. With the, uh, the coming up. So yeah, I've got four plates on the Snar, just pressuring. If I can get two first strikes off, that's insane. You see if I can. Nice. Use my ghost to get in range. I took Tower Girl on that Q I did as uh, as the Vigo's coming in. You know, I don't think it's actually good for Vigo to do the. Uh, Jungle camp as an R, right? Because he didn't have the jungle item as an R. I don't even think that's good. Alright, so one item I really want to try in Corky along with his like true damage and poke. Like I kinda wanna try the uh the wild arrow item. The Yun Tell. <laughs> God, I'm just doing so much true damage to this turret. Literally 23 bonus damage per auto. And then when I spell by proc, it's 35. Actually, insane true damage to turret. And it's just bon it's just like literally 15% bonus damage. Straight up. This is nuts. Oh hey, maybe I can get shut down on Shaco. No! Oh, she had three bot. Oh no! Wait, I got pink warded. Oh, oh lord. Oh, it's bad. So Shaco preemptively had a box there, and then he came in from behind. Oh, that's so tragic. Happens. Game's still pretty even. It's just that Shaco is uh. This guy's kind of fed. He's got his black fire torch. This item is insane fed champ. So the dealing damage with abilities causes to burn for 30 match damage per second. That works on his freaking boxes. So it's just straight up better than something like Landry. Landry still exists. Oh, and Landry still exists. So he can also go Landry's. Okay, yeah. The burn damage from AP Shaco is just going to be... Early surrender. Get me out. Don't do that to me. Has been destroyed. We got a game plank. We're scaling. I think our jungler is a little bit tilted. Dang, we almost had that Jace too. Is a warden's. I'm gonna get this top tier too. 
The turret health is so low already. I might just end up dying to Shaco, but I'll say at this point. Okay, I got uh, I got Flash from Jace. Not too shabby. I got my um, I got my Trinity Force by the time I revive. Actually, I don't even have to sell my biscuits. I'm pretty sure I just get it by the time I revive, anyways. So, I think with our team, we don't really have a frontline. We have a Viego. Uh, but we have a ton of poke. And we have a Soraka to kind of, kind of keep us up. So, we got poke versus poke from them, but we have a Soraka. So, it might be kind of good to just uh, group. I'm um, spiked really hard now since I got my, my Trinity Force. My Spell Blades are going to be doing big damage. So I went from doing 77 damage to my Spellblade proc to 154, just literally double. Oh, hey, Soul Rift Herald. Look at this burst damage I just did to that guy. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's push mid. And key max me is gonna shred some armor. Gonna get spell blade action. I guess I could have uh, art the minion still, but. Oh, we got Rift Charge going mid too? Oh man, we're about to do some big time damage. Oh my god, what is this quirky damage? I just got so much true damage. Me and the Soraka kind of popped off. Let's go. Right, let me get this red buff. Don't mind if I do. Okay. So, I think I'll go Infinity Edge now. But we definitely went full crit, right? Just because critical strikes, we just do even more true damage. So my true damage is getting between first strike to an extra true damage, getting me an extra gold as well. I'm at a... Uh, 303 gold to 18 minutes. I'm like par for the course for like... No, it's basically laning phase gold in normal game. I feel like this game got a little bit accelerated. Yeah, my quirky auto attack damage is actually going crazy. And it's like when I get Infinity Edge, I, I don't even want to think about the Infinity Edge. Oh my god. Like this change is going to go freaking nuts. Oh. Oh my gosh. So I was able to flash away from the clone from Shaco. And I could tell which Shaco clone it was, by the way, because I had the red buff uh, application on the main one. That's how I was able to tell which one was the clone, which one wasn't. So pretty nice. I got big shutdown there. So I straight up have an Infinity Edge now. So I crit 50% of the time. And I'm doing 100 bonus true damage every auto. Just straight up. So, yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. So, I think I just go, like, Bloodthirster. Do I even need Pen? I mean, they don't really have armor anyways. But, like, even if they did have armor, like, I do so much true damage. Oh, let me get this Infernal. Don't mind if I do. I need my Vega to come back up. Yeah, this champ is... Like, this Shaco is so freaking fed, but now he's just insta-dying everywhere he goes because I just do too much damage. I'm too OP with this, like, new rework. Like, he was he was 11 and 0 at one point, and then I just killed him twice in a row there. And 
And it's hard to kite away from a Corky. Like, my E reveals him in his, in his stealth. Like, doesn't reveal him where I can auto, but, like, reveals his, like, general location, right? So I just chase him around. I'm just shredding. I kind of want my Sraka to group up with me again. Nice game with four bot. Wait, the chase is doing pretty well. Uh, I don't know. The, the Dar, on the other hand, uh, we kind of beat him up. He, he, had, he had a DC issue. It happens. Oh, let me get that kill. Oh, nice. I got an assist. Uh, I guess we push this out. So, this building has up to four... Tr oh, yeah, I didn't go over this. So, on the ultimate... Basic attacks against champion reduce the time between charges on your ulti. Uh, I guess I just get away from it here. Oh, nice. I think Jay still burst me. Look at these 102 damage, like, I'm doing 800 damage on auto attack. So, Spellblade proc? And if I Spellblade proc and crit, it's like a thousand damage. <laughs> the, like, Corky is so much more fun with the- oh, I forgot this trap. Wait. I just took like 700 damage from a trap. Okay, that might have played balance. <laughs> half health? He just got autoed with Spellblade and he's just half HP. Oh my gosh. Alright, let me get Bloodthirster. Or like towards Bloodthirster. I guess if you wanted to go like more tanky on Corky, like you're against like really big assassins, you could just go this. And it's probably fine. But the thing is, like, you get more rockets just from critically. So it reduces the time between charges by 11 seconds on crit. So it's basically you get a whole nother... Every time you rocket, and then you auto, and it crits, you basically get another rocket. That's crazy. I want to grow, man. Yeah, if I, if I first strike with uh, my true damage and stuff, I just do so much. So my, if you notice, my rockets aren't going to be doing as much. It, it's all my, about my auto attacks. Inkling's all 13. He's got a zeal for some reason. Uh, I guess he's going to Vori. Yeah, don't go to Vori on a... Uh, I'm getting plank, guys. That item is trash. Just in general, but especially in gangplank, you want to just damage. So that was a clone getting out of range. Gosh, that's so much burst. And of course, I'm just going to shred turrets because, you know, for some reason my bonus, like true damage, also hits a turret. So it's like I'm doing a gangplank passive auto on turrets just like 100% of the time. Obviously, Ganks went passive, probably does a little bit more damage, but I mean, still. I'm doing this on like a ranged champion. Okay, my. There you go, it's kind of doing work. Okay. Yeah, that guy's, uh, he's got some high ping. So it looks like I don't get the cooldown reduction. It's just against champs. Uh, 
Oh no, I blew myself up because I killed the clone. Oh, that is tragic. I uh, yeah, I really needed the uh Oh, I needed the lifesteal. Although I guess the life still won't heal me on my true damage, right? But it's still pretty good. So it, this this item uh, is reworked for the season. Converts healing received from life steal in excess of your maximum health up to a 359 shield. But it's only within, so it's only damage you've done within the last like two seconds. So the shield actually you don't just keep the bloodthirst like over here. All right, um, let's do Yuntel. So critical strikes deal additional damage over two seconds. So I add up a bleed, which I have heard this bleed stacks. Not like perpetually, like it's freaking a reason. But um, it does stack from, from what I heard. So like, you know, it's not just refreshing the, uh, the current dot. Oh my, is that, holy shit. I think that's Solar Baka's like super distant cousin. On uh, the gangplank. And Ash Arrow just taking away my first strike. Okay. So we're in a we're in a I mean we're pretty freaking fed. I mean, I want to fight. Okay, so my... Oh my god. My, uh, Zaya's trying to kill me, man. Let me see if I can life still a little bit. An enemy has been slain. Cause I just straight up killing that Shaco clone on top of me, almost one shotting me. Oh, maybe we can send. Let's just do Baron. This is free. We don't really have the time. Okay, looks like they surrendered. Alright, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of Corky in the comments down below in his rework. Make sure to subscribe, like the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys all have a 